Using my polyline command, I can create a series of lines and arcs that are going to act like one single object. I can start my polyline command from using the icon on the tool palette, typing PLINE uh, at the command line, or using its keyboard alias PL. When I'm activating my polyline, it's like drawing any regular line segment, except I have some different options. If I right click, I can see what my options is I can draw an arc, I can specify the length, I can also specify the width or thickness of the line. Let's look at how some of these work. I'm going to choose arc, and now you can see that I'm going to stay continue drawing arcs as long as I have the arc command active. If I want to change back to straight lines, I right click and choose line from the options. And if I want to close my polyline object, I can right click and choose close from the shortcut menu. When I click on my completed polyline, you'll notice that it, the grips slide up as one continuous object. These grips can be used for editing, like any other line or arc, by dragging or specifying distances. I can also use my other modified tools with polylines, tools like fillet to round off corners, or um, offset, which will allow me to create duplicate copies at a set distance of even complex objects. Because my polyline makes up one continuous object or can form closed objects, uh, it has some kind of unique properties. When I look at the properties palette, under geometry, I can see that listed is the length. This makes the total length of this polyline. And even though it's a very complex line, uh, it's going to tell me its length. And it's also going to tell me the surface area contained inside of this complex shape. So this can be handy when you need to know the area or the perimeter of a complex shape. A unique characteristic of polylines is that I can designate the line width. When I start my line, if I right click and in my shortcut menu I can choose width. It asks me to specify a starting width for the line. I'm going to put 0.25 and then it wants me to specify an ending width. They don't have to be the same. I'm going to use the same so I have a uniform thickness. Now you'll notice that the lines being drawn on the screen have a width of 0.25. By being able to draw lines that have specific width, I can create visual representations um, of certain types of objects by using thick lines. Let's look at a couple of applications of polylines where we can use their characteristics. In this orthographic drawing, you can see that we have a section view. And in this front view, I need to have a cutting plane line. And I have arrowheads that show which direction the cutting plane view is oriented. An arrowhead is something that I can use a polyline to make. The general rule for arrowheads is that they are, have a length three times their width. So I'll create an arrowhead at the end of this line. I'll get a polyline and I'm going to click on the end point as a starting point and then I'm going to hit W on the keyboard to set its width. I'm going to specify the starting width as 1 16th and specify its ending width at 0. So now you can see that my polyline takes on the look of a point on the end like an arrowhead and because general thumb rule says that I should make this uh, the length three times its width, so three sixteenths long, and with that I've used my polyline to create an arrowhead. In this situation I'm working on a circuit board and I'm running the traces between 
the solder points for the components. I'll start my polyline command and I'm going to snap to the center point and now I'm going to set the width. So I'll hit W on the keyboard for width. I'm going to set this to 0.125. My ending width is going to be the same, so I'll hit Enter. And now I can snap directly to the points on the circuit board where I want the traces to run. showing them at their actual width. And I can use my arc command and I can use my editing tools also. In this case I'm going to say trim. I'll let everything be a cutting edge and I can zoom in and you notice that those can be trimmed to the inside edge of my solder points which were created with donuts.